Here's Wazim Akram to Salah Jaisaria. Yes, this uh, is the big one as far as uh, Pakistan's concerned. They lose this and they're out of it. They have posted a score of 280, which is a very good score. What a good blow. That's gone all the way. Son of Jaya Syria, such a good hooker of the ball. Sometimes it gets him in trouble. This time it gets him six. So it moves on to 33 without loss. Perfect position, perfect stroke, perfect result. I say, look at that. Well, it sat up and begged at him, but at quite a pace, and he smacked it for four. This is super batting by Jasaria. Oh, and there we go again. This is really a firework display rather than a cricket match, isn't it? A terrific stroke. So this is what Jasuria can do. He could even tear someone like Wasi Makram, who has been bowling brilliantly well up to now. So this is a productive over for Sri Lanka. Once again, Akram short and Jasuria, everything behind it, punching it on the offside. No stopping him now. When umpire Ian Robinson says not out. Flurry there, pad, and the ball goes up in the air. The Pakistanis also went up in the air, but umpire Robinson doesn't agree. It's a good attempt by wicketkeeper Latif, but it's the pad all the way. Picking it up cleanly. Well, there's runs here, we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be four, I think, whether it was bat, buys or pad. I think, in fact, Jasaria caught up with that one. He did indeed. It came off the bat. Yes, Jasaria did get a little bit of bat, and uh, when you get it so fine, past the wicket, keep your certainly eye in business. So Jasaria adding on to his tally. Well, that's, he's got that away, but I think only for the, no, they've come back for the second, that was good running oh! hit, and uh, the Pakistanis think that is a wicket. Ijaz was the thrower, it was a marvellous throw. That was indeed a brilliant throw by Ijaz. The Sri Lankans testing Ijaz's arm, challenging him, and I think Atapatu realises he's gone, the ball hitting the stumps direct with Atapattu diving for his crease but I'm sure he must have been shot by a foot or two. Oh yes, that's out all right. And there it is and listen to the noise. <laughs> Anyone think they've won the match? Not the best way for Atapattu to lose his wicket and that fine partnership by the Sri Lankans coming to an end. So Sri Lanka lose their first wicket for 65. And the new batsman, Roshan Mahanama, and he's here because of the astonishing run out. It goes for the big one here, Jay Surya. There's a man coming under it, but he can only see it sail past the boundary line for a six. He's the danger man for Pakistan. And another clean hit by him. And as long as he is, he is there, Sri Lankans don't have to worry about the run rate. And that one, very high and very cleanly hit. strikes what an eventful over this has been a ball coming back on Mahanama before that and this one a beautiful out swinger and that cut of uncertainty straight to Amaswell with Mahanama pushing outside the off some so Sri Lanka lose their second wicket for 68 
And Aravinda De Silva is the new batsman, taking the place of Roshan Mahanama, who was picked up by Amir Sahail at second slip. Goes for the big one here, Jay Surya. There's a man coming under it, but he can only see it sail past the boundary line for a six. He's the danger man for Pakistan. And another clean hit by him. And as long as he is, he is there, Sri Lankans don't have to worry about the run rate. And that one very high and very cleanly hit. And not quite timing it, and this could be another run out here. The keeper not collecting the ball, but he's asked for the replay here. This is going to be very, very close. The body language of the Pakistan team suggests that the Silva might have just made his ground, but we'll take another look. Yes, it's strange that the Silva, after hitting that ball, and Jaisuri are not even moving. Although he's not even getting any. <laughs> it's again Moin Khan once again. Had that been a direct hit, there's no doubt the Silva would have been out. But here, he is comfortably home. And as is mentioned, Ravi, the body language, both of the Pakistani team as well as the Silva, suggested that he was comfortably home. Oh, this will be four runs. A superb shot on the offside by De Silva to give him his first boundary. 80 for two, Sri Lanka. Again, using his feet and smash straight down the ground. There is a man at long off, but he cannot stop it. This has been one of the features of Jay Surya's innings. He strikes the ball so hard. And this time, once again, placing it to perfection too. Man at deep long off, unable to cut that with that power he gets. Very short back lift, but it's all timing which gets him the power. Oh, beautifully played. What a magnificent stroke. That really deserves more acclaim from the spectators than it's got. One understands why the situation is as it is. It is. They want Pakistan to win here, but look at that. What a touch of class there by Arvind De Silva. Just leaning onto it and just picking that gap. There's no stopping it. Just shows a master craftsman at work. Plenty of skill, and he really articulates that in his batting. And now, in the completely opposite direction, we're talking about class and quality, that is the highest class of batting you can possibly imagine. Different shot, but the same result. Just see the flick of the wrist, bringing the ball into his body, just playing it over his eyes, so close to his body and having complete control and hitting it into that vacant region bisecting two fielders down there on the line at square leg and fine leg precise placement oh that's a bad bit of misfeeling but again the effect here of the Jew, the ball slippery skidding off the ground that's Mohammed Hussein out there, the substitute. Got his body in behind it. Didn't go down in the orthodox manner. And the ball just skidding through him for four. It should have been just a single. We reached the boundary. Just. But he really didn't have the space the room to play that shot and somehow he got it between mid on and deep mid wicket and picked up four for it this is really the class of Baravinda de Silva that clinical placement is ruthless when hitting the bad ball to the boundary but once he gets his good balls away it's just clinical just see the timing the placement and the ball reaching the boundary magnificently hit placed really just have enough legs on it 
to make it. Well, it probably didn't have enough legs on its own, but the legs of uh, Shida Freely, correction, it's uh, Sacklin out there who helped it over the line. So this is a very expensive first over on a new spell. Impeccable timing there by Jasuri, just leaning onto it and beating a fairly protected field on the offside. The field is standing at short extra cover, took the sting off the ball, but uh, the ball carried over to the boundary. His last over in his first spell, which was his fourth over in the opening spell, cost him 15. The first one of a new, costing him 13 so far. Make that 17. So Sri Lanka ready, going great guns here. Halfway stage, 25 overs gone, 158 foot. And Jay Surya, who was a little slow to start, wasn't too far behind. Now he's picked up the tempo of his innings, uh, Jay Surya. Arvinda has looked uh, as if he's having a net. He's such a top player that when he is uh, in this kind of form, it looks as if he's really just having a net. He's uh, Look at the way he's played the shot now. Lots of time to hit it and place it. And he'll again look for the two here. He's a very good runner between the wickets. And the 100 partnership coming up with that two runs. It's come in just 77 balls. And this will be another boundary. Kenny's found the gap. He's placed it well and placed it fine enough. And that should be it. Another half century for this very consistent Sri Lankan batsman, Arvinda De Silva. 50 of just 48 balls and Sri Lanka 184 for two. Well, that's gone away um, for four runs. The fine edge in the later stages of a limited over cricket match is a pretty good shot. It was too wide of Rashid Latif. Uh, bad luck on the bowler. Yes, that was an intentional shot. We'll see here Arvinda trying to open the face of the bat, successfully doing it. And uh, Rashid Latif in vain, diving to his right. And the ball just bouncing in front, it didn't carry, so you can't say it was a chance. But certainly Arvinda picking up four more runs and edging Sri Lanka towards victory in a very grand fashion. And I think this could be the two, it is going to be. And that is Jayasuriya's 100, and what a splendid innings it's been. He's a wonderful cricketer. He must lay claim to being just about the best batsman in the world in all cricket, but certainly in one-day cricket. Without any doubt, Henry, what a magnificent 100 that was for Sri Lanka. And it's good to see the senior partner, Arvinda, coming on to congratulate, giving him a hug. And I'm sure, quietly, he must have also told him that, look, it's not over yet, you have to continue. And that's the stats. 100 of just 86 deliveries. Well, just look at that. It's like shelling peas, isn't it? Coming down the wicket and hitting it right into the gap for four runs. And probably we'll say here that was the slower delivery from Azarman with which it was. And Jai are very quick to pick that up, coming down the wicket and taking in the full toss. And the fielders didn't even move. That looks as if it has four written all over it. It does. Lovely shot, just flicking it off his toes, Jasaria. Oh, that's gone over the top for four runs. 
Again, that was a, a lovely looking, easy, graceful stroke. There was no brutality about it, just timing. Perfect execution, knowing that the feeder at long off is in the circle and Arvinda making absolutely sure that it's, he's going to clear that field there and in spite of a jump from the fielder at long off it easily went for four. And there we go again this time off the back foot four more. What a little gem Aravinda de Silva is. 34 overs have been bowled. The score 231 for two. As are Oh, and that's another lovely stroke. Oh, glorious and confirming everything that Asif was saying a moment or two ago. This man really is poetry in motion, Asif, isn't he? He is, and it's a pleasure to watch uh, him bat in full flow. And look at that, another four. Through the fielder down to the boundary for four. Ball skidding off the outfield. Trifle shot by Afridi and uh, Jazz Surya. Pounces on it, pulling it around. Doesn't need much room. Beating the man there in front. The ball skidding off and racing to the boundary. With uh, no way that the outfielders could get to it. The Sri Lankans continuing to go strongly. Nothing very much one could do in the face of this onslaught. Two superb stroke makers, different styles, but producing similar sort of result. And uh, just to add a little excitement to the evening, a six over the top of long off. Easy as pie. So Jai Surya once again coming down and lofting Afridi. The ball going sky high like a scud and ending up a good two, three yards outside the line. That'll help as well. That's gone for four. So he moves on now to 92. there's a bat on that no question it's gone down there very quickly so he's pushed on to 97 now with that bun ray aravinda here's the six from jaya Surya. and i think it was after the six that he realized that if he had any more of those the silver wasn't going to get the hundred yes i think uh, jaya Surya certainly has been helping the silver along with his hundred That really reflects the type of team spirit, the unity that uh, has been around in the Sri Lankan team. Each man helping the other along. And that's what partnerships are made out of. And he's got it. So Aravinda da Silva with his 10th 100 in One Day Internationals joins his partner Sanath Jayasuriya and gets the warm applause from his teammates and from around the ground who, in spite of the disappointment of Pakistan on the brink of defeat, can realize a high-class innings when they see one. What a fine innings this has been for Maravinda de Silva. 100 runs in 87 balls, started with 12 boundaries. It's been an innings of absolute class, showing that he's certainly on the top rung among world bats. Sri Lankan flag flying proudly high, so a wonderful 100 by each of these batsmen. Just a point, uh, Ranjit. So far, Sri Lanka have not had to field and bowl at night with the Jew is the factor. Didn't have to do that in the World Cup final as well. Now, might they tomorrow, if they win the toss, decide to use it as practice? And they decide tomorrow that if they win the toss, they'll bat. As a little bit of practice in the night, for the final on Saturday. 
it is indeed a very interesting proposition and um, certainly that's something which the Sri Lankans might consider seriously as uh, that would also provide them with a sort of a challenge to say that um, even with the deal that uh, they are a good enough side to try and take on even the best of sides and uh, would also serve as some sort of practice because uh, handling the wet ball is something one could gain confidence out of. Well, they need just another three to win the match. They've gone for two and they'll come back for the third run and Sri Lanka have formalized the result with uh, three leg buys and they've won it with a mile to spare, 10 overs to spare. Sri Lanka go through to the final of the Golden Jubilee Tournament. Yet another final for the Sri Lankans. And of course, the last one they were in here was the big one, the World Cup back in March 1996. They still have another game against South Africa, whom they will meet also tomorrow in the last of the preliminary round and they'll meet them again in the final on Saturday. Disappointment for the Pakistanis. They've been well and truly beaten here by the better team. Of course, the conditions were a disadvantage for Pakistan, as they have been for the team fielding under the lights in the earlier matches. But I don't think they could quarrel here that the better team won the match and won it very handsome.